Hi, uh, my name is Maya Ackerwhite, like you said. I'm actually from St. Louis, Missouri. I'm from this Ferguson, Florissant area. Um, and I was shot on Tuesday night uh, after a night of peaceful protesting. So when you say peaceful protesting, you were out there. How long did you get out there prior to the incident? Uh, roughly about two hours. Then after the police started cracking down, what was my decision? Police didn't have to start cracking down. We actually made a decision to disperse the area ourselves and to reconvene in the morning. This was about 11.15 p.m. Uh, when we decided to call it a night and go ahead and get people home so that we could get back out fresh for the next day. And from, from there, um, after they cracked down, like, tear gas, were you there when the tear gas was shot? Tear gas didn't have to be dispersed, uh, dispensed that evening. We actually just walked away. We turned our backs and walked away. Um, Although officers did begin to advance on the group as we moved, um, I'm guessing due to the large size of the group and due to the fact that uh, there was not a heavy police presence armed at the other end of the street where we were uh, directing ourselves. Okay, so once you were shot, was there medical attention provided at the time? Not at the immediate time, no. I was brought into a civilian's home. They opened up their, their home to me. Uh, there was a, a young man his fiance and his two children who actually sat with me in that living room until a lamp to an ambulance was able to reach the scene. So the ambulance took you to the hospital from there you went straight into surgery? Um, I didn't go straight into surgery. I was taken into a trauma center and uh, basically my condition was diagnosed. Uh, I had a gunshot wound to the frontal lobe, so uh, right about here. And um, they attempted to remove the bullet in the, emer in the emergency room, but were unable to do so, and I was scheduled for surgery the next day. So after they removed the bullet, what happened? I went home. It's my understanding that the police came and took the bullet. Um, the police did uh, take that bullet into evidence uh, to run ballistics on it uh, before I even was out of the operating room. I was on my way home on that day that uh, Michael Brown was murdered and passed by the scene and began to see the commotion and this is before it hit news, news streams and uh, I believe just like even local social media streams. So um, I stopped to see what had happened. I actually ended up speaking with one of Mike Brown's cousins who had informed me that her cousin had been shot in the middle of the street. Um, at that time, I ran home to drop my things off from work and I came right back to the scene um, because I was interested in if justice would be served and in what way it would be served in our community. Well, we appreciate your time and your comments. Um, is there anything else? Any shout outs you want to give to maybe at least the CU Buzz? I want to shout out Howard University. If it weren't for Howard University, the, the world wouldn't be looking right now. And we, we do that. We set the standard, and I can truly say that Howard University has set a standard in making sure that justice is carried out in the murder of Mike Brown. Thank you. Thank you.